Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be going over some products that I have absolutely... <laughs> Start again. In today's video, I am going to be going over some products that I have absolutely been loving over the last month or so. Make sure you let me know in the comments down below what products you have been loving lately so that I can go do some shopping. All right, that's enough chit chat, let's get into it. The first product I have been loving is the MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Gold Light. So this one is described as a moisturizer that boosts the look of dull skin and luminizes with iridescent particles. So it's not really a primer, but you do use it underneath your foundation or you can mix it in with your foundation and it's just going to give you that really nice glowy, radiant look to the skin. There are a few shades in the range and as I said, I have a gold light, which is a really nice pale gold. It works really well on my fair skin and I am just obsessed with the glow that it gives. The shimmer in it isn't chunky, it's really fine, and it's just the perfect amount to give that natural glow from underneath your foundation without looking like you're oily or the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. As I said, I just love the glow that it gives. It is quite expensive, but I definitely think that it's worth it if you're after that kind of look. I think that this is something that I am always going to have in my makeup collection from now on. Next is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05 Ivory. So we all know about this concealer. It's been around for a long time, but there have only ever been like, what, five shades in the range? And so of course the lighter shade wasn't light enough for me, especially when it come to brightening up and concealing under my eyes. I did use the shade 15 Fair for covering up any blemishes before I went ahead with my foundation, but it was way too dark to be using under my eyes. So anyway, when the new shade 05 Ivory hit Australian stores, you bet your ass I made my way to Priceline and picked one up. I already knew I liked the formula of this concealer. It's super lightweight, has a medium coverage, and is really creamy. The shade Ivory has more of a neutral undertone, which I really like. I find it does a great job at brightening up under the eyes. It does look a little bit yellow when you first apply it, but once blended out, as I said, it just does a good job at brightening up the area. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not the fairest concealer I've ever used, but it is a great option if you want to buy something from the store here in Australia. So here are just some swatches of the concealers. Up here we've got the Fit Me in the shade 15 Fair. This one is the Fit Me in 05 Ivory. And this one down here is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade 04. Next, I have a bronzer, and you can probably guess what it is. It's the L'Oreal Back to Bronze in the shade 02 Sunkiss. I have been obsessed. You hear me? Obsessed with this bronzer. Okay, sorry, that was a little bit aggressive, but seriously, I cannot put this down. As you've probably heard me say a million times before, it can be a real pain in the ass trying to find a bronzer at the drugstore suitable for fair skin. But this bronzer is such a great shade. It has just the right amount of warmth to give you that sun-kissed bronzy look without turning into an Oompa Loompa. It even says on the packaging here that it is suitable for fair complexions. So you know that they had us in mind when they were creating this. <laughs> oh my God. Touching. But in all seriousness, I love this bronzer. The shade is perfect. It has a matte finish and it's not drying at all. And it just leaves that perfect sun-kissed glow. And one more thing, I also really love that it is buildable. So it doesn't pick up too much pigment. So you can just go in bit by bit and build it up to what you're comfortable with. <sighs> Get it. Next is another product by Maybelline, and this is the Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade 300 Blonde. I flipping love this product. It is just so easy to use. The product itself is in this like diamond shape, and I was a little bit unsure at first, but it's actually really easy to use and quite helpful because you can outline your brow with one edge and then kind of turn it in your hand to fill in 
your brow. And then on the other end, you get this little spoolie. It is quite short and fat, but hey, it does the job. The formula of this one is really great too. I find it has a good amount of pigment and it's that perfect combination between creamy and dry, if that makes sense. Like, it's not super creamy that it makes it hard and chunky to work with, but it's not super dry where you don't get anything out when you're trying to draw. You know what I mean? It's actually a really good dupe for the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. <sighs> That is hard to say. So you can see that they both have that kind of diamond shaped tip and then both of them come with a spoolie on the end. I actually prefer the Maybelline one because of the formula. Let me just give you a little example. This is the Maybelline. And here's the benefit. Like, Hello! <laughs> the benefit is in the shade 1 and it is a little bit more warm toned. I actually prefer the more cool toned brow colour anyway. But yeah, if you want to save yourself some money, I'd pick this one up. And then lastly, I have the L'Oreal Colorish Lipsticks. I was super lucky to receive all of the shades in the mail in this really nice box. <laughs> I have taken out a bunch of my favorites, so I will swatch them for you. But these lipsticks are such a comfortable formula and I have literally found the perfect nude shade. I'm wearing it right now. It is in the shade 658 Topless. Is this not one of the most perfect nudes? Like, come on. So the formula itself is quite creamy and hydrating. And as you can see, it does leave a really nice shine on the lips. I am absolutely loving this lipstick and am obsessed with the formula. There are so many great shades and can we just take a moment for this packaging? Like, cute. I just started swatching the lipsticks on my arm, but I thought I might actually film me swatching them so you can get more of a feel of the formula. So don't mind this mark here. So this is the shade 658, the one that I'm wearing. This is 350. This shade is 245. Next is 656. Yo, focus. I think that was out of focus. So again, I'll do 656. And then this one is 112. So you can see they have that really nice shine to them. I love it. So I just quickly applied the red shade on my lips so you can get a real feel for these lipsticks. Like, look how shiny that is. <laughs> Ooh, love it. All right, well, they are five products that I have been obsessed with lately. If you wanna see more of a full face of products that I've been loving, go ahead and check out my real life makeup routine. I will link it down below for you. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!